Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for an Iron System Review and another uh, beer from which uh, beer style I don't really know which beer style that it's gonna be called, but let's find out that later on. But it's from um, the brewery Wildbräu located in Grafing in Oberbayern, uh, the brewery Wildbräu that has been uh, twice on the channel before. Uh, I've been reviewing the Helles from Wildbräu and I've been reviewing the Grandauer Urstoff export before on the channel. But uh, now it's time for their beer, which is a Meister Sud, called Meister Sud, and it's a fest beer. Uh, there we got the the answer of which beer cell it is. It's called fest beer. I'm gonna speak about that beer cell later on in the review. Uh, but the reason for why I'm having, having a third beer from this brewery is that the uh, labels are so different, and it's uh, that's a little bit funnier to have different uh, beer cells from one brewery if the uh, the labels are completely different, like in this case, Meister Sud, Fest beer, looking like this, very old-fashioned label, coming in this so-called Euro bottle shape, as you can see, thick bottle shape, which fits nice in the hand. Uh, Meister Sud, founded 1616, 1616, uh, Meister Sud, Fest beer, Schutzmark, uh, Wildbräu Grafing for München, uh, looking like this, I'm gonna give you the information on the label later on. Nach dem Rhein Bayerischen Reinheitsgebot. Von Meister Hand gebaut. Here you see the top crown cap, here you see the back label. Of course, I'm gonna give you the information from this uh, back label later on the review also for you, but um, let's uh, start with open up the bottle like that and pour it up, of course, into the uh, for the bear cell well fitting glass. Always important to use the right type of glass for the bear cell that you're enjoying. In this case, I think this glass fits really nice with with the bear cell, and as you can see, nice uh, two finger, maybe three finger white foam crown. I thought it was going to be a little bit darker than it is because it's quite pale for a fest beer. Um, here you see nice white foam crown, very thick foam crown, and nice uh, pale golden yellow color of it. Uh, and the fest beer is uh, the October fest beers that is being brewed in the um, in the autumn uh, and uh, in the fall. I mean, um, which is uh, yeah, this head is dissipating quite fast. Let's get the aroma. Because we're very very nice in my opinion. Let's see if we can pour up the rest like that. There we have it all into the glass. I love how the foam is rising up. After the pouring, now let's get uh, let's give it a try. The uh, Meister also in Festbier from Wildbräu Grafing in Oberbayern Post. Yeah, it's really nice, of course. Um, great flavor. Um, very well done Festbier, in my opinion. It's having the typical. Nice, a uh, little bit of an export melts and fest beer taste. So it's of course a recommendation. I really hope that you can find it also. I'm gonna link the Bruce website, of course, so that might help you. Uh, let's see what it says here on this old fashioned label. Mark and Bier von Meisterhand nach dem Bayerischen Einsatz von Anno 1516 gebaut. Es steht unter Kontrolle der Brautechnischen. Prüfungsanstalt Weihenstefan. And on the back label, Meister Sud gehört zum Westen, was die Brauerzunft heute zu bieten hat. Genießer schätzten vor allem die milde süffische Note. Zutaten Wasser, Gersmerz, Hopfen. Uh, Originalabfüllung Wildbräu 85567 Grafing Rotterstraße 15. Gebraucht nach dem Reinheitsgebot. Bayerisches Bier, Wildbräu DI. Uh, Alcohol 5.8, which is quite typical for uh, a fest beer, which is of course stronger than Hellas and Pilsen, and of course uh, also stronger than uh, Export or, or Meltzen. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice fest beer in my opinion. Of course, it's a recommendation. This might still suit. But I think that's it for now. Hope you like my views and see you again in next Bavarian beer review.